Scripture, the finest frontier. These are the voyages of Skylab Omega, its five-month mission to spread the gospel across the galaxy, to share God's love with civilization, to boldly go where one Savior has gone before. Come with us now as we blast through the Bible with Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger. Hey guys, Lieutenant Dan Sonicloud here. Good news. Our visit to planet Jerusalem was so successful that now we're moving on to another planet. I don't know which one. Maybe it'll be planet Lida or, or Damascus or Tatooine. I just hope it's a friendly planet. <laughs> Uh-oh. Time to announce the commander. <laughs> All hands on deck for Commander Cosmos, Space Ranger! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. I meant to do that. <laughs> at ease, men, at ease. I have a special announcement to make. Skylab Omega will be heading due east for Planet Joppa. <laughs> Planet Joppa, but isn't that in the Dagobah system? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. But, Very good, Lieutenant Dan. But that whole quadrant is patrolled by Pharisees from Planet Ferris. So it is. But they're our sworn enemies, sir. Ah, oh, that's their choice to swear. I never choose to swear. But we could be captured or tortured, or worse. It is our mission to carry the word of God to the ends of the universe. If we are called to go to planet Joppa, then we are going to answer that call. But aren't you afraid to travel into enemy territory? Why, Lieutenant Dan, the Bible says that you have not received the spirit that makes you a slave to fear. You have received the spirit of sonship. I guess you're right. <laughs> of course I'm right. I'm quoting the promises of God, and God always keeps his promise. Sir, how do you always manage to point what happens to us back to the Lord? Because everything that happens to us points to Jesus. Oh, you mean like miracles? <laughs> I mean everything. Miracles, everyday occurrences, even the way we live our lives. Huh. Everything points us to Jesus. Huh. Why, Tabitha could have told you that. Oh, Tabitha, Tabitha, ta ta is she in the Bible? She is. <laughs> I had a feeling she might be. <laughs> I'll get the Bible right now. All right. Here we go. Ah, excellent. Now, Tabitha lived in Joppa, and she was a follower of Jesus, and she was always doing good things and helping the poor. Oh, that's really nice. Yes, and then she became sick and died. Oh, why'd you tell me that? Well, it's important to the story. You see, Peter was in a nearby town, so they sent a couple of guys to ask him to come to her house. Oh, is that the same Peter, the fisherman who was friends with Jesus? Yes, Peter was one of the original 12 disciples, oh, yeah. and when he got to her house, all of the widows were crying, and they showed him all of the robes and clothing that Dorcas had made. <laughs> Wait a minute, who's Dorcas? <laughs> oh, well, that's another name for Tabitha. Oh, well, if I were her, I'd just stick with Tabitha. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. But the point is, everybody loved her. She made beautiful clothes and gave them to people. She had a reputation for helping people, and everyone missed her. Oh, well, that's really sad. It's too bad Peter couldn't do anything to help. Oh, but he could. Peter sent them all out of the room, uh -huh. and then he knelt down and he prayed. And then he turned to her and said, Tabitha, get up. Wait a minute, he told a dead lady to get up? <laughs> he did. Did anything happen? The Bible says she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. Wow, that's just like when Jesus rose Lazarus from the dead. Well, Peter was becoming more like Jesus. Remember, Jesus did promise us that the Holy Spirit would give us the power to do even greater miracles than he had done. Oh, but why would the Lord bring Tabitha back to life? God does everything for a reason. Yeah. To bring glory to himself so that more people might follow him. This was a chance for so many people to see the power of the Lord. Here, look what it says in the virtual Bible. All right. This became known all over Joppa, 
and many people believed in the Lord. So, the way to get people to give their hearts to Jesus is to do a great miracle. No. But you said that people believed in the Lord after Tabitha's miracle. They did. But people also believed in Jesus because this woman had been one of Jesus' followers. And she was really kind to them and made clothes for them and helped the poor. I see what you're saying. People saw the kindness of Jesus in her life. Miracles are important. They are important. Miracles change people's lives. But when we choose to live our lives through Jesus, everything we do points back to Jesus. Everything about us <laughs> points to Jesus. When the Holy Spirit lives in us, people can't miss him. So the Holy Spirit lives in me. That means that I can point people to Jesus just like Tabitha did. <gasps> Computer, send an interstellar message. Aye, aye, Lieutenant. Attention, friends and Pharisees. Skylab Omega will be traveling through your galaxy. Everyone and anyone is welcome aboard to hear about the power of your Lord. Your friend, Lieutenant Dan Sonicloud. Ah, <laughs> well, Lieutenant, it sounds like God is making you bold just like Peter. Well, that's no surprise. After all, let's say it together, kids. Jesus, Jesus is, is the, the same, same yesterday, yesterday, today, and forever! So long, kids. See ya.